Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. I have no idea what time it is. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Simba. He's all curled up here. It's kind of kind of cool in the house today. So much fluffiness. Good morning, Stella. How are you? This morning, the cats are having gummy bears as their appetizer. And the gummy bears are each holding a little fish. And the little fish is a bench and field treat. So the cats should enjoy these. The cats are eating their gummy bears. Splash, you have one. Splash, right here. Okay, get it, Splash. You're right there. Splash, right here. Splash, you have a gummy bear. Simba's eating Splash's gummy bear. Boo's eating his gummy bear. So Boo will not eat breakfast. Boo will not eat the raw food that I've been serving the cats, which is the Nature's Variety Chicken Bites and the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets. He only likes the venison, the duck, and the rabbit. So I had a freeze-dried duck nugget, and I just reconstituted that for him. So now he's eating that. I find that if I crumble up the duck nugget and pour some water on it, it doesn't really absorb it very well. So what I have to do is take my hand and like knead it into um, like I have to knead the freeze-dried particles into the water. Like, you know, the old-fashioned way of making dough where you take flour, egg, and water and you use your hand to knead it all together? Yeah, so it's like that. Today, Hydrox is getting this raw food for breakfast. This is the primal raw chicken nuggets that the cats are really not fans of. Um, and Boo would not eat them, and Boo would not eat the chicken bites, so Boo had a different breakfast. He had the freeze-dried raw. Um, and since this is already defrosted, I'm going to give it to Hydrox. I have not seen him outside yet, but I'm just going to put it out there for him anyway. Okay, right now it is about 10, 10 a.m., and outside it is about 49 degrees out. And this is the temperature in the feral cat shelter. It is 54 degrees, so it does stay a little bit warmer in there than outside, but there are no heating elements in there. The heated pet pad is not in the cat shelter. Most likely, I'll be putting it in there maybe this coming weekend, which will be in a few days. Um, so that's where that's out. So Splash and Simba seem to have a nightly ritual where they hang out on the play rug and then Simba coaxes Splash into licking his head. So then Splash starts grooming Simba and then after a little while they end up wrestling. And that's what happened tonight but I did not have my camera on and so when I took my camera out they were already onto their wrestling phase. Today it was like kicking. Hello, Splash.
It's just about 11 p.m. right now. Okay, I saw that one coming. All the cats are getting crunchies on little crunchy plates. And there's also a little bit of the chicken baby food under the crunchies. And uh, the crunchy plates are on a platter. And the cats should all be eating nicely together, except Splash just smelled Boo, and Boo just punched him. Well, the cat equivalent of a punch, which is a swat. So Boo still has a lot of street thug in him. So now I'm going to grab those two crunchy plates and give them to Splash and Simba away from this tray. Splash is eating his crunchies. Simba is eating his crunchies. And Stella and Boo are eating theirs. And that's all they're getting. They each got a tablespoon of crunchies. And they got like a little demi tasse spoon of the chicken baby food. Had a little bit left in a jar. And I just wanted to finish the jar. Wow, look at this. Crunchies make cats happy. I think it's about 11.30 p.m. right now. I'm not sure. But Boo has claimed the bed. And he's getting some nighttime pets. And I really think Boo and Stella have some kind of an agreement about who gets to sleep on the bed. Because... Stella's in the cat tower. It's like she knew it was Boo's turn on the bed. Like she didn't even try to come in the bedroom. Like it's weird. And some days it's the exact opposite. It's like it's like Boo stays out on the cat tower and then Stella comes into the bedroom. But they never like both try it at the same time. That's why I think they have some kind of a an agreement. Somehow, cats talk to each other in ways that we have no idea about. Right, Boo? Okay, Boo says, time to go to sleep. Shut the light. Okay, Boo. Good night, Boo. Good morning, Boo. It's about 8 a.m. right now. Boo slept on the bed all night. Right, Boo? Boo? Boo, what is that about? Good morning, Stella. How are you? Good morning, Simba. How are you? Right now it is 8.45 a.m. and I forgot to defrost raw food for the cats. So these are four of the primal nuggets, two duck, two rabbit. I want to see what happens when I combine the meats. I want to see if the cats uh, like them better. So um, I just added some water to it. I am going to put a cover on this. Then I am going to continue getting ready for my day and the cats will eat this uh, probably in a half hour, maybe in an hour. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting reconstituted duck nuggets and reconstituted rabbit nuggets mixed together. Hopefully they'll like them. You ready to eat? Are you guys ready to eat? Boo's ready. Boo's eating his food. Stella and Simba are eating their food. And Splash is just watching them. Eat your food, Splash. Go eat. So now that I know that they like this, I am going to go upstairs and reconstitute some more nuggets. I don't know if I have any more of the freeze-dried duck nuggets, so I might do the Nature's Variety uh, chicken bites. I have those freeze-dried also. 
This is going to be the second half of their breakfast. It is the Nature's Variety Freeze-Dried Raw Chicken Bites with two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. So this is a new combination. I have mixed that with water. We're going to let this sit and reconstitute for about a half hour. The cats are eagerly waiting. Okay, this is the second half of the cat's breakfast, and these are the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets along with the Nature's Variety Chicken Bites. They've been reconstituted in water. I gave the cats their food, and they're eating it. And Splash is watching. He waits until they finish, and then he goes and he eats what's on the plate. I think he's on guard duty. And Boo is about halfway up the steps, and he's eating his food there. Good boy, Boo, eat your food. So Boo really enjoyed that. He liked that better than the first half. Whereas the other cats really did not eat as much, so maybe they'll come back to it. Maybe they're just full. I don't know. I just put a plate together for Hydrox. This is the reconstituted raw food that the other cats have left on their plates and on the platter. Stella says, where are you going with that food, right, Stella? I'm giving it to Hydrox. Right now it's 51 degrees outside and it's definitely a brisk day. It's a little bit windy. And I was just outside um, because I scooped the litter boxes and I was taking the bag of poop out to the garbage. And today's the day that they pick up the garbage. So I then had to walk all the way down to the end of the driveway to get the garbage cans and bring them back where they normally are. And as I was doing that, Hydrox walked over from the neighbor's yard and he was walking towards me at the time. And then he walked across the driveway and I was walking towards him. He did not run away or anything. Walked over to the bushes and you can't see him right now, but he was sitting in the bushes before I came inside. Maybe he's sitting in the sun beside the house right now. Um, and he was like, okay, I'm ready for some food. Go get me some food. So. I went in and I got him some food, and now I'm going outside to give him the food. There's Hydrox, can you see him? I'm putting his food right here on the patio in a nice sunny spot. He just walked over to eat it. Let's see if he likes it. It might be better for him than the canned food. He seems to be enjoying it. This is his first time trying freeze-dried raw food. He's tried the fresh raw food, like the frozen raw food, after it's been defrosted. He never likes that. But he seems to be liking this. The weather is starting to get colder and I'm hoping that tomorrow is a nice day because I need to winterize the patio. I need to put the heated pet pad in the shelter and get out the heated bowls and hook everything up and put all the extension cords where they need to be, even get the greenhouse ready. I've been waiting for a sunny day when I don't have to work and when I'm actually home and have time. Okay, so I would say he ate maybe half of that. It's about 11 a.m. 
Boo's been sleeping on top of the cat tower in the sun. But he looks really cute. Hello, Boo. How are you? You could stay up there. You don't have to get down. Yeah. Want to show us your teeth? How are your teeth doing? I really haven't been looking at his teeth lately since the vet. I just, like, I don't want to see. Part of me just does not want to see any more teeth coming out. Oh, is this what you want, Boo? You want me to rub your tummy? That's what Boo wants. Boo wants a tummy rub. A little over a year ago, you couldn't even pet this cat. Like, he would try to slice your hand off if you tried to pet him. And now look at him. He's a mush. He's a lot like Simba. He's a lot like both Splash and Simba. He does have, like, you know how Splash is, like, very cautious and kind of, you know, spooks easy? Boo's actually like that. But he gets over it faster, and he learns, oh, okay, that's not scary. Like, he associates it. Like, if Boo's scared of something, like, he'll be scared of it a few times, and then he gets over it. Whereas Splash doesn't seem to get over it. Or if he does, it takes him a lot, lot longer. Hello, Boo. You a good boy? Okay, Boo. Boo, I gotta get going before all the traffic. I like to get out in the morning before the um, lunchtime traffic hits. Because around here the traffic's always really bad. Okay, Boo, I gotta run. I'll be back. I'll be back later, okay? It's 1 p.m. I just got home. The traffic was worse than I thought it would be. I really should have gotten out of the house earlier today. Uh, one of the places I went to was Trader Joe's and I bought uh, these all natural chicken breast tenders because I have decided to experiment with making my own raw food for the cats. I don't want to do this because I really don't have the time to do it. But what's happening is that it's getting so difficult to actually buy raw food for the cats that I feel like I'm wasting more time like trying to buy it in stores than I would be if I was just making it myself. So I bought these chicken breast tenders from Trader Joe's. Then I also went to another local market and I bought these boneless chicken thighs. So I figure we'll have some boneless dark meat along with some boneless white meat. And the reason why I'm buying boneless is because I don't have a meat grinder. So I am just going to experiment with this in my food processor and we'll see if the cats eat it. If I can experiment without a meat grinder and the cats will actually eat it, then I will invest in a meat grinder. But the last time I tried to make my own raw food for the cats, they wouldn't eat it. So we'll see what happens this time. So I got the chicken thighs, I got the chicken breasts. So we have dark meat, we have white meat. And then they also had chicken livers. So then this will give us some organ meat. So my plan is to actually put all of these in a food processor, mix them together along with some pumpkin. I also bought some beech nut organic pumpkin baby food and I am going to be adding some of the ground pumpkin seeds as well as the uh, wheatgrass powder. So I'm just going to experiment with different mixtures and see if the cats will eat it. Right now all of that just went into the refrigerator because I don't have time to do that today. I'm hoping to do that within the next day or two. Um, meanwhile, I got another of these Primal freezer bags because I decided to go back and buy two bags of the raw duck formula because this is like one of the only flavors Boo will eat and they only had two bags left and these are for dogs and I actually ended up speaking with the person who orders the uh, raw food for that store. 
And I asked her if she could do a special order and she took down the information as to the flavors I wanted and I was explaining to her, um, you know, that I talked to one of the reps from a pet food company that mentioned that like the venison, the pork and the rabbit are the favorite flavors of cats and she said, well, that's funny because the freezer is set up by uh, a rep from Primal. And I said, just because someone works for a company doesn't mean that they're particularly knowledgeable about all of their products with regards to certain animals. You know, maybe that person is more of a dog person. And like, how many times have I gone to a store and I've asked um, an employee a question and literally they'll be like, well, I don't know. I just work here Like that is my pet peeve when people say oh, I don't know. I just work here Well, if you just work here, please take some initiative and educate yourself on uh, The products that you are selling if you just work in a store Anyway, I got the last two bags of the duck and the reason why I got the last two bags is they still have not gotten any rabbit in and I feel like when a lot of these stores sell out of a flavor they just never get it back in and I found out that this store orders from the same distributor as the other store which cannot order more because they don't meet their minimum order. I mean, it's just I'm getting really 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 frustrated with these local uh, pet food stores and you know forget about like Petco and PetSmart like I'm lucky if they have the nature's variety chicken bites and when they do it doesn't matter because boo won't eat them anyway um, So I also bought the last two bags that they had of these nature's variety instinct raw boost mixers um, and again, I got these because the cats really love them and I just wanted to have some backup inventory now that we're going into the winter months um, in case we have power outages or storms um, and there's more supply issues. My concern is like supply issues. Right now there's supply issues with the frozen raw. So if we run into even worse supply issues with uh, the frozen raw or with the freeze dried raw, I just want to have like some backup here. Then I went to another pet food store, which was on the way home because I had purchased some freeze dried uh, primal nuggets for cats there in the past. So I figured they would have some. So I got a small bag of the venison. This is a 5.5 ounce bag. This was like $17.99. Um, and again, I bought these just to have, uh, these will last quite a while because they are freeze dried. It says these are best by 4 11 2019. So these will last for like another year and a half. I got a bag of the primal freeze dried rabbit nuggets. Um, I learned some information yesterday which has me really rethinking uh, feeding the cats so much rabbit. So. I'm gonna try to get them onto some other meats. And then I bought a large bag of the duck formula because I know they like this one. And these large bags were $39.99, um, but they are more than twice the size of the smaller bags. These are 14 ounce bags and these last a long time. Another product that I saw there that I wanted the cats to try is this new low freestyle grain free turkey and chicken recipe cat and kitten food. This is a 12.5 ounce can and it was about $3.19. I thought that was a decent price for such a large can and the ingredients are turkey, chicken, turkey liver, turkey broth, tuna, natural flavor, guar gum, agar agar, potassium chloride, choline chloride, taurine, cranberries, pumpkin, Manhattan fish oil, preserved with mixed copperols, tomato, kelp, yoga, shitagira, extract, salt. Uh, and then we go into vitamins and minerals. And I thought those ingredients look good. Those are a lot of the same ingredients we see in um, the healthy high-end cat food. And what I have been looking for recently is phosphates. And I'm trying to avoid foods with phosphates in them and there's none in here so that's why I figured let me pick it up and let me see if the cats like it. It's 10 p.m. right now and the cats have just been like out of their minds today. I don't know what's going on tonight. Boo's been running around like a crazy boy. Simma's been misbehaving. Stella's been misbehaving. Splash is just, I don't know what he's doing. So what I did was I just gave them CBD oil. 
They each got five drops of CBD oil and a little bit of chicken baby food with a freeze-dried chicken bite on top. Now hopefully within maybe 20-30 minutes uh, it'll kick in and calm all the cats down. I mean I don't know what's going on with them but I need to get some stuff done tonight and I can't be constantly stopping because I have to break up fights between the cats and that's what's been going on. And I don't know exactly who has been involved because I haven't been in the room in the time. I'm just hearing cats like screaming and fighting and just arguing with each other and yeah, we can't have that. And so that's why I gave them the CBD oil. Maybe that will relax them. It'll calm them down a little bit. The other reason is today is exactly three weeks since they all got the uh, anti-worm medicine. And they all need to get another dosage of it. But they're going to get that tomorrow. Meanwhile, what I would like to do is at least give Splashy his today. But... He just hasn't been letting me do that. Like when I try to corner him, he's not only hissing, but growling and making all kinds of mean noises like I've never heard Splash make before. So I'm hoping maybe this uh, CBD oil will relax and calm him. And we'll see. I'll try again in like another hour or so. How you doing, boo? Calm down a little bit, okay? Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.